Hello everyone. Today I want to um, give you an update on a recent court case regarding VAT, everyone's favourite tax. So VAT and the property sector is always fraught with problems, but this is just a reminder of how um, you've really got to be careful or you can get stung big time. So what happened was this uh, company bought um, a block of flats. Now this um, block of flats used to be a pub. So the pub was converted into flats, not a huge block, just a handful of units. Um, but the vendor charged 300 grand plus VAT. So the purchaser um, claimed the VAT back through their VAT return. Um, and then they got a inspection from the Vatman and the Vatman said that uh, the £60,000 of input VAT that they claimed was not a valid claim because input VAT shouldn't have been charged in the first place. So what happens is that when you um, sell uh, dwellings and it's, they're not brand new dwellings, then that is an exempt supply for VAT, and therefore no corresponding input VAT can be uh, claimed. It shouldn't have even been charged in the first place, basically, by the vendor. So the vendor got it wrong. So you might think, well, that's fine, as long as the vendor accounted to HMRC for the output VAT, 60000 paid that across, and then the buyer claimed the same amount back, and the two just cancel each other out. There's no lost to the exchequer because there was a, a, a net a net nil um, transaction in any case as far as VAT is concerned. It's, it's an in and an out uh, between both parties. But no, that's not how HMRC and the VAT man look at it. So they denied the 60,000 input VAT claim. So the company appealed against this and they said, look, that's not fair. Um, firstly, if you deny us uh, this 60 grand input that claim then you will be unjustly riched Mr. Vatman to the tune of 60,000 the fact that the vendor has paid over their VAT so why shouldn't we be able to offset the um, the amount or not that return um, the appeal was dismissed by the tribunal basically what should happen in that situation is if you have incorrectly been charged VAT and therefore incorrectly try to claim it as input VAT, what you should do in this scenario is get a VAT only credit note from the vendor. So the vendor then refunds you, though as the buyer, the money, the 60 grand in this case, and then you refund that 60 grand to HMRC. On the flip side, the vendor will then get an amount refunded of the output VAT that they've incorrectly charged. So it all goes around in a circle. Um, you can see the, the point that the, um, the buyer had in the court case saying, come on, um, there's no net loss here to the exchequer, but that is, that is the rules. And you can get stung because if they not only deny the input VAT claim, they charge you penalties and interest and goodness knows what. So you've got to get the VAT right, particularly on property, because it's always fraught with problems. So do think, do have a serious think or speak to uh, your VAT advisor when you are about to engage in a property transaction and the vendor, the person you're buying it from, wants to charge you VAT. The first thing is don't just assume they know what they're doing and that they are correct to charge you VAT because in a certain circumstances like this, there should be no VAT in the first place. Now, um, the problem with property is sometimes... VAT should be charged uh, at, 25, at um, the standard rate of 20%. Sometimes it shouldn't be charged, but technically it's charged at 0%, which means you can recover associated costs. And other times it can be charged at 5%. Other times it's exempt. So there's three or four or five different scenarios on accounting for VAT and properties, depending on the circumstances. But in this case, with this recent court, court case, no VAT should have been charged on the sale of those dwellings. So um, do have a think about that. And if you like this video, please do subscribe here and I will see you soon.